everyone, my name is Joel P. Kinis and I am from Sigasat Elementary School, Balilihan District and I'm applying for Teacher 1 position and today I'm going to show to you a demonstration for the subject Mathematics in Grade 1. So let's start in the Father Sam Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father in Heaven, Holy Spirit, we are not only the Lord, but we are the Lord. Because as dear God, we give us our sins as we do sins in Jesus. But bring us a test of the rest from the Lord and the Holy Spirit. Good day, everyone. How are you feeling today? Yes, very good. So before we start with our discussion for today, what was our topic last time? Anybody? Yes, Jay? Okay, so our, last, our topic last time was about the days in a week. So what are those? We have, yes, John, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we have seven days in a week. So now, I'm going to show to you, or I will let you see a song we have here on the board, entitled Hickory Hickory Top. So let me sing it first, and then you will follow, okay? Very good. So here it is. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse shoots up the clock, the clock shot one, the mouse shoots down, Hickory Dickory Dock, again. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse shoots up the clock, the clock shot one, the mouse shoots down, Hickory Dickory Dock, yes. So, you sing it now. Very good. So, what animal being mentioned on the song? Yes, Regine. Mouse. Very good. So, what happened to the clock? RJ. Okay, the clock struck. One. Very good. Give your hands to RJ. Clap your hands for RJ. Very good. So, now let me ask you what object gives the sound tick tock? Okay, Angie, very good. A clock, a clock. So I have here a real clock. So as you can see, this is the base of the clock. Yes, and it has 12 numbers. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Also, it has three hands the short hand the long hand and this hand the second hand okay so by seeing this clock right now where does the short hand point so yes jomari okay on number six the short hand points to number six and how about the long hand is yes, Anna okay the long hand points to 12 okay so the short hand points to six and the long hand points to 12 okay so let me show you how how the hands of the clock moves. So there. Take a look. Okay. The movement of the hands of the clock is clockwise. Okay. Clockwise. So there. Okay. Let me move the clock from six to do you know how the clock works so that from 6 o'clock the time becomes 7 o'clock? Okay, let me show you or demonstrate you. So here, so the time, so the short hand is pointing to the 6 and the long hand is pointing to 12. So, let me show you how the clock or the hands move okay here all right okay clockwise motion movement 
So we have here, yes, it's moving until the time becomes 7 o'clock. But before that, okay, let me tell you that this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here stands for minutes. If we will um, we will move the long hand. So when the long hand moves clockwise, so it tells about minutes. So here we will start five. Yes, five minutes. Because of this, we have this tiny um, dot here. So it starts at one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Five, and we have ten, fifteen, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, or the complete third of the long hand or the minute hand is equivalent to one hour. That is why a while ago it was pointing on six and the long hand is in total six o'clock. That is 6 o'clock and when we move the long hand, yes, it becomes 7 o'clock already. So how do you write 7 o'clock in words, in other ways? So we have here the word 7 o'clock. Now we have two choices or two choices. The option is how to write 7 o'clock. Words in decimal or in number digits or in full words. Okay. All right. Let me ask you. What time do you wake up? What time do you go to school? Are you on time in going to school? In going home? Okay. It is good to practice being on. Time because being on time is also a self-discipline. Yes, a self-discipline. You have to discipline yourself to be on time with everything that you do. Everything that we do. We should be on time. Just like you. In going to school, you need to be on time. Like the teachers, we are on time. It is a way of disciplining yourself. Okay? Very good. So, for those who are late in coming to school, please be on time. Okay? So, what do we use in telling time? Alright, Anna. Very good. Don't forget our clock. So, the clock means the time. And Rogelio. Okay, what are the parts of a clock? We have the short hand, yes, here, the long hand, and this red one here is a hand for a second. Okay, very good, very good. And now, for you to practice, um, I have here four samples of illustrations of a clock. So what are you going to do is write the time below. So I am going to call four. Four pupils only to answer on the board. Okay, we have Rogelio, Anna, Regina, and Sam. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay, correct. We have four correct answers on the board. And this time, I want you to prepare a sheet of paper and answer this in your seats. Okay. We have the same instructions. We are going to write also, alright, your time as shown in the clock below. So you have to write it down here. So you have to draw this in your, in your papers and write the time. Uh, below, below the illustration. 
I will load your drawing. Okay? Very good. So you only have 10 minutes to do that. Okay, 10 minutes is up and kindly submit or pass your papers to the front. Okay, front seaters, collect the papers. Thank you. And for, and for your assignment, copy and answer. Tell what time. Write your answer in your assignment notebook. We have four items here for you to answer. And yes, copy. You have to copy all of those items and answer afterwards. Okay? Very good. Okay, that is all for today, class. I hope you enjoyed our discussion. And class is dismissed. Thank you.